Today we're going to be drawing out our cactus. We're going to start off with our pot and we have to think about fitting the whole of our cactus onto our page. So if I measure with my fingers, actually the pot and the cactus are almost the same size. So we want our pot to start halfway down our page. So we're filling our page nicely, okay? So we're going to start off with that uh, symmetrical ellipse, rounded edges, no sharp corners. Following all the rules of the circle, there are no straight lines in an ellipse. We're going to draw our identical ellipse just a little bit further down. So it's exactly the same size as the one above. Nice and light with a sharp pencil. And then if we measure, either with our fingers or the pencil, using the tip of the pencil um, and our thumb, we can see that again, the it's not quite half, it's more than half. So the bottom of the pot is about three quarters of the size of the top of the pot. Okay, so if we think, yeah, what's about three quarters? I'm gonna pop an ellipse, it's about three quarters of the size, but lower down. You could also measure this way. So the height of the pot is very similar to the width of the pot. Double check that. It's not far off. We have to think about our upright lines. We'll pop those in. And then I'll step in to create the lip. We join our lines down. We draw our pot. Okay. Now, on the pot, I cannot actually see this line because there's a cactus in there. And I cannot see that line. So, at this point, you need to rub those out because we don't want them showing through our painting. Okay. I'm then going to draw the first cactus, which again, you can measure. And now, the first cactus is the same size as the height of the pot and it sits in the middle. So it sits about here. It doesn't sit behind the pot. It sits in the middle of that opening, okay? Comes up at a bit of an angle. You think about how far in that is. It's about there. It comes up. A bit of the pot up to about there. Be careful at the shape. And I'm just doing the outline at the moment, okay? So it comes to about the middle of that. Actually, maybe a bit narrow. And then I'm going to do this one. So it actually kind of touches the side of the pot, but it starts again in the middle, comes up, curve a little bit higher than this one. Come down. And there's a little baby one in the back there. I'm just going to pop in. A bit high, there we are. Okay. And then we've got our down lines. So they start at a point at the top. I'm just going to put in our basic lines for now. I'm not going to do anything too complicated. So we don't want anything showing through the paint, ideally. So we want it to be nice and light. And now I'm going to start painting. So I'm going to need paint, a paintbrush with a good tip, some water. And when you wet your paintbrush, make sure that it does go to a beautiful tip, okay? And we're going to start layering up some washes. So I'm going to start with the pot. We're going to be looking for that brown, lovely brown colour. So I'm going to start mixing some colours in my palette. I'm just move that over here. So the brown, now I think that's a bit too brown. So I'm going to add in a little bit of the terracotta colour because it's a bit red. And then on a scrap piece of paper, I'm going to test my colour. 
and lift it against that. Just be a little bit more red in there. That's getting close. I actually can add a little bit of yellow, I think. And that's pretty close, okay? So we're going to start off with a wash. So very watery, almost like oh. squash. Paint around the outside of your pot, first of all. And then fill in. Okay, we're starting really light. And actually, even with painting, it's a good idea to follow the contours of the pot. So I'm going to follow the curves. If you've got